That's not potato chips, that's pasta chips, and they're all the rave right now on TikTok. In fact, my 20-second video has gotten over 21 million views in less than a week. Hey guys, I'm Yumna, aka Feel Good Foodie, and I'm obsessed with these pasta chips. So today I'm gonna show you how to make the viral pasta chips and answer all your questions. Like, what if I don't have an air fryer? Can I make these gluten-free? I'll share my tips for how to get crispy, delicious pasta chips so you can jump on this trend and impress all your family and friends. To get started, we're gonna make the dip. There are so many different dips that you can serve with pasta chips. What I'm making today is a whipped feta dip. We're gonna start with the feta cheese and throw it in the food processor. And then I'm adding about a fourth of a cup of Greek yogurt. You can also use sour cream or cream cheese. Then we'll add one garlic clove or two baby ones and we'll give it a go. And while it's running, we want to slowly pour in the olive oil so that it emulsifies and creates this whipped effect with the feta. And you can stop and scrape the food processor down every once in a while, especially because it's a really small amount, but it's looking so good. It has a beautiful whipped texture, and this is so good for dipping with the pasta chips. Now that we made the dip, it's time to cook the pasta. So you're essentially taking raw, crunchy pasta, cooking it and making it soft, and then cooking it again to make it crunchy in the air fryer. So it's a couple extra steps, and it's kind of weird when you first hear that crunch sound, but it's not raw, it's fully cooked pasta. My recipe is for eight ounces of pasta, but I'm gonna go ahead and cook one pound of pasta. We're gonna air fry half, and we're gonna bake half. You want to heavily salt the water, like the ocean, and you wanna cook the pasta al dente because we're cooking it again, so you don't want it to become too soft. So we cooked a pound of pasta. We're gonna divide half into the bowl, and half into a baking sheet. And now is the fun part. What we're gonna do is we're gonna flavor them with some olive oil, some Parmesan cheese, and any spices you want. So for the air fried version, you only need about a tablespoon of oil. That's the beauty of using the air fryer is that um, minimal oil is needed. For the baked version, I like to use about three tablespoons of oil for eight ounces of pasta. So give that a toss right away just to coat the pasta in the oil. And then I like to add some Parmesan cheese because the cheese gets nice and crispy and it just goes perfect with the pasta chips. I recommend using grated Parmesan just so it can um, stick to the pasta and you don't have any long shreds of um, cheese in there, which is also not a bad thing though. You can use two to three tablespoons of Parmesan cheese for every eight ounces of pasta. As for seasoning, you have to salt the pasta again, so I would add another um, quarter of a teaspoon to half a teaspoon of salt, and then you can have fun with whatever seasoning you want. I recommend about half a teaspoon to one teaspoon of any kind of spices or combination of spices. For the air fried version, I'm going to use half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning and half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Garlic powder with pasta chips is so good together. For the oven baked version, I have this really cool combination of pizza spices, so I'm gonna use this Italian herb on there and then garlic and onion. And then I'm also gonna add a little bit of crushed red pepper as well, just to give it a little bit of heat. Time to toss it all together. So this version has olive oil, Parmesan cheese, garlic powder and Italian seasoning. Super simple. And remember, you don't need a lot of olive oil when you're doing it in the air fryer because the air fryer um, just uses a lot minimal oil and all that extra oil is just gonna go to the bottom anyways. And now we're gonna transfer this to the air fryer. I like to do 400 degrees for about 10 to 12 minutes and make sure to shake the air fryer basket a few times while you're cooking it just to make sure that it gets crispy all around and all those edges are perfectly cooked. And if you don't have an air fryer or an oven, you can actually pan fry these. You just need a little bit of extra oil and make sure to shake the pan a few times while you're frying them. Notice how the grated Parmesan just sticks right to the, the pasta. This is the perfect consistency that we want. Once the oven is preheated, you wanna make sure to spread these out as much as possible and then pop them in the oven at 400 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. All right. Look at that, you guys. They sound so crispy, they look beautiful, and they smell amazing. So time to plate them. One more crunchy sound. <laughs> so I'm gonna put them on this plate right here. And you'll see there's no extra oil that came out, so one tablespoon was perfect. And then we'll add the whipped feta dip we made earlier. Then I like to add some tomatoes on top just to garnish it, and a little bit of parsley for plating. All right, I'm not waiting for the oven baked versions. I'm gonna do a quick taste test of the air fried ones. All right, they're crispy, they're delicious, and they're so addicting. I can't wait for you guys to try these. Okay, let's check up on the oven baked version. Here they are out of the oven. They look so crispy, they smell amazing, and time to plate them. 
And I'm just gonna serve these with some marinara that's store-bought. You can serve them with any different sauce that you want or just eat them by themselves. I do recommend hitting it with some salt as soon as they come out of the oven because it's gonna stick to it and they'll just taste a lot better that way. All right, so I'm also gonna do a quick little parsley garnish over here. All right, time for the taste test. They're still super crunchy, super delicious. I definitely prefer the air fried version better. They have like a lighter, crispier taste to them, but both are excellent ways to make these pasta chips. And if you wanna make these gluten-free, you can use a grain-free pasta like lentil pasta or chickpea pasta. They have more protein in them, so it ends up being a protein-rich snack that's super satisfying and super filling. There's so much to love about this recipe and I hope you love it as much as I do. If you make the pasta chips, please DM me, tweet me, Facebook me, or send me a comment on the website. I love hearing and seeing all of your recreations. And if you love this video, please share the love and don't forget to subscribe. See you at the next video.